There it is, baby. It's been a long time since I've had a locker like this, and let me tell you, it's been a long time coming. Let's see what's in here. All right. Nice chair, 30 bucks, still clean. So how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I used to be a big wheeler and dealer in rods and reels, so I knew to take the bait on this one. We're gonna have to get these checked out, but I can't wait to see what else is in this locker. One, two, three, four, five, six, five bucks a piece, another 30 bucks. Well, that's a good one. Xbox 360. Here's the controllers for the Xbox. With the video game system, the games, the phones, that's easily a $150 box. I'm in the profit. Here's a nice little Panasonic bike with some graphite racing wheels. I'm sure that's an easy 300 bucks for that. Here we got another specialized, real lightweight. It's got the custom pedals and everything. An easy $500. Somebody was real serious about their bike riding. Something is floating around in there. Whoa. We got gold. That's a good clasp on it. That's a good sign. Usually the nicer the clasp, the better the piece. 10K. You know what? Without even weighing it, that's at least 400 bucks. Yeah, baby. When opportunity comes knocking, you better answer the door. Huh. Oh, special. This is a Daiwa. I really know reels. Definitely worth getting looked at right there. Look at this. This is for the, the big fishermen. Good. Good, good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. We've got Daiwa. We've got a Newell. All the old time fishermen love Newells. And we've got another Daiwa here. That's a nice box right there. <laughs> Come on, this is like the best fun you can have for Petty. Here's another one. Never seen this one either. Feed the babies. Feed the babies. This lock of proofs. Any safe? It's a penny earned. This right here looks like a little fresh water stick. We've got the sea line. It's an SHB. That's nice. That's a cork handle. This is called a flipping stick. Did I mention? I know a lot about fishing rods. Here's another seeker rod right here. Pin Saber Stoker. I'm not making these names up. Got a couple of custom wraps here in the bag. These are really nice. There's two more right there. And I've only begun. I'm taking my bangs to Jim Maley a vintage toy restorer and collector. I'm banking on these being worth a pretty penny. I brought you some goodies. Oh, what do you got? At least I hope they're goodies. Well, let's see. Oh, Banks. Wow. This is something different. These are nice, beautiful, period mechanical banks. This is the uh, infamous eagle and eaglets. And these were made probably, gosh, 1890s, 1900, right around that time. It's all cast iron. And you know, there's a lot of reproductions of these out That's there. That's my big worry. That's yeah. why I called. Now you've got this one. This is called um, Two Frogs. That was so much fun. Yeah, and it almost has a bronzy look. It's, it's a, this is a great classic bank. So you seem pretty excited. But what's the final verdict? Well, these, on close examination, they both appear to me to be original banks from the late 1800s. This Eagle and Eaglets, you should at least get about $1,200 for this one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. That is so awesome. And the frogs are the better one? I, I really think you ought to get $1,500 out of that one. I'm really, really You're impressed. Like, you totally made my day. Yeah. I got to go call my wife right now. I'm at the Long Beach Marina to meet an old friend. The host of Inside Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez and creator of Dan's Kids Youth Foundation. Come on board, man. All right. Let's head out there. Man, you ready? See the gems. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen reels in here. This is great stuff. These are pricey. We're not even close to being done yet. Are you serious? You There's more? Oh, man. I've got all these rods back here. If I remember right, this is a, a jig stick, isn't it? Yes. These rods were designed this way, so it didn't matter how tall a guy was. You could adjust it anywhere you want. And just to give you an example, grab that tip there a little bit, and you'd lean back and pull down a little bit. Wow. And that's how you would fight the tuna. Wow. Dan is used to having his throbbing rod pulled on. We've known each other a long time. So, Dan, how much is all this worth? The rods? The rods, the reels, everything. Everything together. Quick sale. 12 grand. Woo! I'll take it, man. I'm having a religious experience, <laughs> as in holy mackerel. What a catch. Daryl Sheets was the big fish 
reeling in over 12,000 clams. Little piggy Renee Nazota went wee 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 all the way to the bank with $5,000. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!